Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Welcome to Lead to Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Oh, I forgot to put the microphone on. Oh, well, we'll just run with it because I'm ready to go to sleep. All right, so uh, greetings again from Poyak. I'm in my hotel room. Uh, no, I did not raid the fridge for wine. So they do have a red and a white, uh, Mouton Cadet. And Mouton Cat, cat it, Cadet. Uh, and they have a champagne. Uh, I forgot the name of that. What I did was, I was actually going out to find contact lens solution because I had bought a travel size of uh, solution for hard lenses and gas permeable. I didn't even know people wore those anymore. Um, so I wanted to get regular contact lens solution. So I went to uh, Carrefour, which is the, super, the huge supermarket chain here in France. And they also have some in a few other parts of the, of the European continent. And they actually had a few in... A couple in the United States at one time um, so I went in there to find contact solution I thought you know what this wine podcast is about you know twenty dollars and under wine and it would help if I had the receipt so as I'm getting the receipt here all right yes we'll be doing two wines today that's why I had two corks I just have the other one back there so um, I thought, I'm at the supermarket. The French drink a lot of wine. So why don't I just buy wine that the average uh, Frenchman, French woman would buy and review it. So I bought four bottles. I bought two of these um, half bottles. Nope, that's not it. Now I gotta find the um, uh, business card. Shut the bush. Uh, but you know, it was awesome. There we go. The last receipt, of course. All right, so uh, I bought I bought four different bottles of wine, and um, they were they range anywhere from three dollars. I'm sorry, three three eighty one euros to one seventy four euros. Okay, now don't let the prices deceive you because these half bottles are you know half price bottles. All right, so the first one I've got here is the 2010 uh, Côte de Provence uh, Rosé. Uh, this is produced by La Cave d'Augustine Florent. Uh, we'll try to get a little bit closer on that. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, I have no idea what's in this wine. It's I'm just going to guess it's either Syrah or Grenache. Uh, as far as the wine, as far as the grape, I can't find anything on it other than there's been, you know, talking about that you can buy it at Carrefour for cheap and um, there's a couple like people talking about it, but they don't really, they just mention it, they don't really talk anything about the, uh, the uh, producer. Um, but Provence is, uh, you know, they produce a lot of stuff. The hotel clerk here at the uh, Le Vigne Noble um, uh, opened the bottles for me. Uh, apparently they don't keep the wine openers in the hotel room So either you have to bring the wine to them or they'll come to your room to open it. I brought the wine to her um, To open this up and uh, she actually liked my recommendations or the two that I'm opening uh, And she mentioned touching and this proves you know, this is I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing wine that the average French citizen is going to be drinking She's like, oh, a lot of young people drink wine, and uh, when they don't have a lot of money, they drink stuff like this. Uh, they drink this, and then the other one we're about to have. So let's go ahead and just get started with that. Um, now remember, rosés, um, they're just uh, a lighter version of a red wine, and um, they just have less skin contact. They don't necessarily, they're not necessarily uh, sweet wines like white Zinfandel. Um, so uh, typically rosés are going to be dry, not necessarily sweet. They may have a little bit of residual sugar, so they may have a little bit of sweetness to them. You might be able to taste the fruit, but in, in 
most cases, especially these types of rosés, are going to be um, uh, dry. And believe me, I almost bought about six or seven of these bottles, thinking, well, I can bring some home. No, these are the ones I'm going to drink here. And uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I bought this at Carrefour for 2.22 euros, which uh, just on the top, off the top of my head, is going to be somewhere between 3.50 and four dollars. So you know, for for a half bottle, so we're talking like seven to eight dollars, maybe a little bit less than seven dollars uh, U.S. for this bottle of wine. So definitely well within the range of the typical wine. So right at the top on the bouquet, a bit of strawberry, but pretty light. Nothing nothing major on the, on the bouquet. A little bit of you know fakeness, a little bit of chemical type smell, not in a bad way necessarily, but processed. So let's go ahead and drink it. I, I, again, I left my spit bucket in the United States and they don't have like any ice buckets in here. And heck, I'm in the hotel room, I'm not going anywhere. Might as well just freaking drink it, right? Really light, um, a bit a bit acidic. I get a little bit of alcohol coming through. Um, it's twelve and a half alcohol. Oh, just so you know, the actual size of the bottle is three hundred seventy-five, or um, uh, what's it's what well on here they put 37.5 centiliters, so it's three hundred seventy-five milliliters, which is half of seven fifty, so a half bottle. There are, there are 500 milliliter bottles or 50 centiliter bottles you can get. Matter of fact, a lot of the restaurants, you can buy full bottles, three quarter bottles, and half bottles. And you know, I've been tempted to like buy these things, but I'm like, well, I don't want, I mean, especially when I have to do the reviews, I don't want to be all, you know, hosed. I did have a couple glasses of wine earlier and a glass of Armagnac with my tiramisu at uh, the Salamander. Um, restaurant for dinner so wonderful dinner by the way this veal dish um, it was like a, a crusted veal with uh, uh, risotto rice and um, a little bit of salad which really didn't have any dressing on it it was just plain greens so pretty good anyway highly recommend the restaurant if you're in Pontiac so um, really light wine a little bit of the strawberry But not, not a whole heck of a lot. I mean, it, it it's not that it's necessarily a disjointed wine, but I get kind of that acid more than anything else. I don't really get you know the fruit flavors aren't really there. Um, it, it's it, I don't really taste much out of it. I mean, I'm sure if I left it open for a little while, it would it might, might get a little bit better. But um, you know. All in all, as far as wines go, it's average. It's a table wine, probably. You know, it's it's your typical wine that you're gonna drink at home. You're drinking your in your flat. Let me tell you, walking around Pauillac, you know, you everyone's windows are open, so you can hear all. And I, when I walked, it was getting it was dinner time, so everyone you can hear the plates clinking, and you know, everyone's having conversations. You got babies crying, and kids talking, and mom and dad talking, and you can hear all this. Too bad I don't really understand French, so. It's a good thing I didn't understand it, um, probably. But um, um, this, I totally can see this being a typical wine at, at, at the dinner table or at lunch that your average person is going to have um, for two euros. Um, very serviceable, you know, three fifty, you know, bars dollar amounts. You know, it's a cheap wine. I mean, it's a half bottle, so it's something where you can have lots of different wines. Uh, at a relatively inexpensive price instead of buying full bottles, especially if, you, if you're by yourself and you want to have a, glass, a bottle of wine, you're not having the whole bottle, you're only half, half a bottle. Um, is it going to get a stellar recommendation? No. It's going to be one of those things where I'm like, you know, if, if you are at the Carrefour and you want a rosé and it's cheap and you don't have a lot of money, yeah, go ahead and buy it. It probably will taste a little bit better chilled. Um, 
but it's nothing inspiring. If I had to rate it, it would get probably, you know, an 80. It's not a horrible wine, but it's nothing spectacular. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to do it for this show. Uh, I'm about to record another one for another three, uh, 375 bottle. And um, as always, thank you for stopping by. Uh, check out the rest of the website uh, for Salmon Gay School. Uh, I, I probably have got some written blogs going on about the trip. Um, I already have one written blog. And uh, if you find anything else interesting on the site, you know, just uh, go explore it. Uh, we got the whole shopping thing up there, the Amazon Marketplace going on. Um, I'm trying to expand, uh, hopefully to expand some more of the website stuff, but I keep saying that and never do it. <laughs> um, and I'll talk about some other stuff on the next episode. But definitely, um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all the people here in France, uh, especially once I got to Poyac. Well, even even in Bordeaux, you know, things as things calm down on my trip, which you, you'll read about in the blog. Um, but uh, it's been really nice. Uh, very impressed with the hotel I'm at. And uh, we're going to see everybody again next time.